it appeared to me then that it was more than what Job could bear. There were no, I get in there, I get in there, I get in there. <laughs> there were no, there were no proper road surface, Madam Speaker, and we're still having the problem. Young people felt hopeless because of the lack of opportunities and the prospect for the future look deemed. There was limited internet access, inadequate housing, lack of portable water, no electricity in some communities, no structured market for the farmers. And Madam Speaker, this was made worse by the road surface because the buyers could not come to the farm to get the produce. Hence, Madam Speaker, my presentation today is entitled Rebuilding the Foundation to Secure a, proper, a Prosperous Future. Madam Speaker, as I now focus on the road infrastructure, many of the, road, many of the roads have been awfully neglected for years. Craters have been left to only increase in size, which make them harder to, to navigate around. This has led to an increase in the length of journey for many people going about their daily lives. In fact, Madam Speaker, the member of this honorable house was going en route to St. James and decided to take the scenic route to Clarendon. And after spending hours in the constituency because of the bad road, he called me to say, Dwight, I feel sorry for you. How you going to manage? I thought, Madam Speaker, the member was going to say, I'm going to give you 75% of my CDF. <laughs> But he stopped just before he said that. Madam Speaker, I'm still encouraging the member. Madam Speaker, when the most honorable Prime Minister in his capacity as party leader was touring the constituency in August of 2020, his people called my people, and they agreed on a route that should have taken only three hours. But, Madam Speaker, it took six hours to cover half the journey because of the terrible road. Almost three decades of neglect. Madam Speaker, a second leg was planned. And this time, Madam Speaker, I got a call from the road manager. And I shall not tell you that the road manager is from Western Kingston. <laughs> and he was stern and firm that it now go, go so like the last time. Madam Speaker, this man is a Christian man because every morning when I get up, I note that there's a WhatsApp message of devotion, Christian devotion every morning, at least three. Madam Speaker, while we were on the tour and night drew, I got a call from the road manager. Madam Speaker, I knew he was talking in unknown languages. Madam Speaker, the only thing I could understand we make you carry through your so. <laughs> Madam Speaker, it took us five hours. The road surface is terrible. But thank God for Minister. Madam Speaker, I ask that the member be allowed sufficient time to complete his presentation. The question before the House is that the member be given sufficient time to complete his presentation. Those in favor? Aye. Those against? The ayes have it, member. 
much obliged to you, Madam Speaker, and to my colleagues. Madam Speaker, Minister Warmington came and did a tour. And at the end of the tour, if anybody knows Minister Warmington, he's not a soft-spoken person. All I could hear from Minister Warmington, at that time he never got the correct pronunciation of my name. He said, Sibbles, may I go help your people. No worry, may I go help your people. Already, Minister Warmington is helping my people. He made a commitment for three roads, and we have already gotten two roads started. And, Madam Speaker, in addition to that, we got approval for three breakaways, plus an additional road, yeah. Madam Speaker. We want to thank and big up the minister and say thank you, minister. <laughs> Madam Speaker, and we are talking about, about road like Cupius to Con Colonel Ridge, Kelly's to James Hill, Corner Gates to Kinnikan, and the Mason River Road. Madam Speaker, we know the budget is limited, and so we appreciate the assistance that the minister is giving us. He made it clear that he is not able to do all the roads, but he is going to start, and Madam Speaker, he has started. Madam Speaker, I turn my, att my attention to electricity. There are far too many communities in Northern Clarendon that ha are without electricity. Madam Speaker, these people do not wish to trespass on the electrical line of the Jamaica Public Service or to take part in social electricity in their homes. Madam Speaker, they have written dozens of letters over the years. They have begged, they have bawled, they have demonstrated, and today they are still in darkness. Madam Speaker, I am asking the goodly minister who used to run me in my yard, the minister of local government, and rural development to make consideration. And, and, and Madam Speaker, I think the Prime Minister need to, to put a little bit more in this constituency as it relates to electricity. Because Madam Speaker, the areas that are without electricity are Comsi, Wedgewell, Corner, Pantry, Bamboo, Burby, ba Pangate, Boot, Street, Kellitz, Breaches Hill, Crawl, Johnsville, Hoodspin, Gungo Ridge, and Bamboo in Good Hope. Madam Speaker, I am going to cut it short because there is more. What? Madam Speaker, we are in a bad state. We are in a bad state, Madam Speaker, and we need help. We need help as it relates to electricity. Our children cannot perform because if there's no electricity, there's no internet.